Well, that didn't work. Well, good morning, guys. Another fine day at the uh, workshop in the bush. And today we got a special project. It's been on my bucket list for a little while, and it's uh, an outdoor propane fire pit. You ever seen those fancy fire pits you see uh, at the big box stores and they've, they've got like, you know, decorative glass. Usually there's flames coming. Well, not at the store, but when you get them home and you light them up, it's basically a 20 pound bottle and you uh, crack it open, light it up, and then you've got an instant flame and, uh, you know, on your patio and your deck, especially during these times when you kind of want to have guests over, but you want to keep them outside and you want to keep them warm. That's the plan today is to create a DIY propane fire pit using basically tools that we've salvaged either from a scrapyard or that we've got laying around. This is an old hot water tank that we that I salvaged from the scrapyard. And what I'm pulling out of it is the, the burner at the bottom. Hopefully it still works, but this is the, uh, this is what heats the hot water in your hot water tank. And it looks like it's the part that'll work for my, my flame coming out of my fire pit. So let's, let's get this thing inside and uh, I'll show you the other part. and fire pit. So what we're gonna try to do is marry that guy into there somehow and make it not look like a tire rim and a burner. That there is where the gas comes out of. And this thing is a diffusion plate. This guy fits pretty good in here, um, but there's a bunch of other problems that we're going to run into. Basically trying to get this guy to marry up to a, a gas regulator in order to get our gas to flow inside here. And then we gotta make it pretty. Like this thing's just, it looks like a dog's breakfast. So we wanna, we wanna get, make it pretty afterwards, but uh, let's make it work first and then, uh, and then let's make it pretty. Add a little heat and then we can straighten her out so we want it to go straight into there. So what I'm thinking is, is I'm going to take this little tube here and I'm going to slide it in through this side, but I've got to first cut a hole inside the tire rim. When I did the cut, I was just thinking maybe I should use a drill bit to make that hole, but actually by cutting it kind of diagonal like this and then splaying it out, I can always pinch it back in and hold this guy in place once I've got my final position. So even though you probably could have drilled a perfect hole, making the bracket actually, you get it further ahead. We just got to figure out a way to connect it. This is what you call a flaring tool. And what it allows you to do is actually stick a straight piece of pipe and you clamp it in place. And what is it doing as you're turning this thing? is it's flaring the end of the pipe. This flaring tool has seen a lot of love. You gotta figure out what their attitude and what the, what they like, how they like to work, how you gotta treat them. They don't afford them to work. Or you just throw them out and get that one. So that guy, can you see that? So that end of the thing is flared. And then when we marry it up with our, with our valve, it gives you an airtight seal because you don't want gases coming out of there. Now I've got the end of my pipe all flared. I got my nut on and uh, remember those chunks of steel that I left on the back of this? I'm just gonna bend them over in order to make this thing st stay put. Ah, what's in my glove? There's a shard of metal in my glove. All right, now to make it look pretty. So this is basically to prevent my ember, which is going to be decorative glass, from going into the holes. There's, there's still holes. In so that's to prevent the, the glass from going out of the tire room. And then the pretty part is a bag of safety glass. Safety glass has in tempered glass. So this is the back window of a car. Okay, so from the research I've done is that uh, you can use tempered glass, which just is tempered glass. It's designed not to uh, explode. Now they do sell uh, fire glass, which they put, they put uh, it's more of a ceramic. And then what they do is they actually hone the edges of these little these tempered glass off so they're not sharp. But who's gonna be touching your firing, your, your glass that's on fire? So this is what I use. This is, uh, this is a chunk of a back window on a truck. Why would you ever have a piece of a back window on a truck, you ask? I don't know. Well, that didn't work. 
Well, I get to pick up little chunks of glass here. Well, that was the idea. So I want a, I want some black fleck in there. Let's bring this thing outside. Well, if you're gonna make one of these, at the very least you can be safe. I've got this stuff. It is a bubble indicator. You basically brush it on your joints to see if you've gotten bubbles. And as they say, no bubbles, no troubles. All right, let's give this bad boy a whirl. Okay, safety, safety glasses, safety gloves, bean, back up, back up, back up, bean. Safety dog is on hand. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn this on. Let's light this first. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know how safe I'm going to be. Uh -oh. Okay, round two. I've removed a little bit of the glass from around the actual burner. Maybe that will be a little less sketchy. Turn the dial. Instant fire. Look at that. It's, it's got to be like a $500 fire pit there. For Wow spare parts you just got to keep your eyes open for stuff well there you guys have it after a little bit more refinement i've uh completed the uh proof of concept let's say of the uh, the propane fire pit i basically got the idea of in the comments somebody was like you know what we use these burners for uh roasters for turkey roasters like a deep fry roaster and i was thinking well you know what i i don't need that right now but what i do what i would like to make is is a basically a desktop fire pit that uses propane so when you don't want to deal with the hassle of gathering wood and what not, you can just kind of, you can just kind of fire it up. Instant flame. You would not believe the amount of heat that that thing throws off. Got my whittling knife, my Ulfa whittling knife. Everybody got pocket marshmallows, right? What's convenient about this fire pit is there's no smoke. It's like, oh, 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 that was close. Oh, almost perfectly golden brown. Well, there's a learning curve cooking a marshmallow on a propane pit, but uh, that's pretty much got it there. Oh, that's good. And the great part about it, you just turn it off when you're done. Or let's go full tilt. So guys, I have been working on a pretty exciting project. It's a really big project and I'm fighting with the weather and the rain and the snow and everything else. So uh, I don't really want to give it away, but uh, I'll give you a sneak peek because you know, why not, right? So um, let me get really close. Let me get really close to it and then go like that. Behind me is the big secret. I'm not going to exactly show you it, but it's, uh, it's big and it's, uh, well, the exterior is almost done. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just, let's just. Ooh, that's about it. All right, so uh, yeah, that's gonna be up uh, hopefully on the next video after this one. Um, stay tuned for that.